Today is a beautiful day because we're talking baseball. Welcome back to another video guys and today I'm at a car show. You think I said card show? See, I am talking about a card show because usually when I tell people that I'm going to a card show, they're like, oh cool. They think I'm saying a car show. Then I tell them, no, baseball cards. And they're like, oh, this, those things still exist? Like, I don't know if anybody else has that problem or if they've ever encountered that, but that's usually what happens. Today I'm gonna to be talking about a show that I went to a few days ago, the Bay Area Card Show. And it's it was a different experience than what I'm used to. Normally I just go pick up some cards that I want, that I need, and I'm out of there. This time I went with a purpose. See, I found out that D Brown was gonna be in town signing autographs. And I grew up a huge Celtics fan back when I was a kid. D Brown was in a slam dunk contest and I was like, wow, one of the Celtics guys can dunk. You know, cause I was used to Larry Bird and Kevin McHale, Robert Parrish, those dudes didn't really dunk. Danny Ainge, Vince Johnson, they were great ball players, but they didn't dunk. And then D Brown comes along, he's in a slam dunk contest and everyone's excited, right? All my friends, all my neighbors, like, whoa, there's a Celtics guy in the slam dunk contest. And D Brown ends up winning. He beat Sean Kemp and there was some serious dunkers in that contest. And he shocked the basketball world by winning the slam dunk contest. So I had to go get his autograph. And um, I ended up getting two autographs. It was me and my, my foster son. And we got this 1991 Skybox with the no look dunk. Love that card. That is such a long time and it's nice to get some ink on it to finally uh, meet D Brown and have him sign uh, two cards. This is the other one, Tops Gold, the fresh autograph right there. So it's really cool meeting D Brown. He was really a nice guy. Talked with us, took pictures. Uh, we just had a blast. Uh, on the way out, he showed some love. Just a cool guy. Everything that I pictured as a child, uh, what D Brown would be like, because he was always smiling, looked like a fun guy. And uh, he played in the best era of basketball, early 90s. That's as good as it gets, right? 80s, 90s basketball was the best. And another reason I wanted to go to the show is I have an autograph that I want to get certified. I like to use JSA, and they set up at this show all the time. So that autograph was. Rachel Robinson, Jackie Robinson's wife. She signed it on this 1991 reprint of the 53 Tops. And there's the certification in the back. And it was 20 bucks and I've had this for a while. I just wanted to finally get it done and feel better about it. I knew it was the real deal, but it feels good getting it certified. And in this clip that I'm about to show, you're gonna see a deal that went down. I was um, really not looking to pick anything up, but I'm looking at a table and I look up and it's a guy that's well known in the, in the hobby, in the YouTube world, and that's Jay from Mojo Sports. And I just wanted to say hi and say, hey, can I just uh, take a picture with you or you know, I'll record you really quick? And he was really cool about that. But then the deal started going down. You'll see it in the clip. <laughs> What's good, everybody? What's up? What's, up? What's up? We're at the Bay Area Card Show. We're hanging out. Sports Cards is alive. I'm about to do a deal with you guys. I'm going to give you two the best deal you've ever seen. All right, let's hear it. Someone <laughs> has to just... What? Clear okay. you out. Clear you out, right? All right. So let me ask you guys. You, you have to pick one card in here to buy. What would you buy? Um, to be honest, bro, I'm a baseball guy, so probably the strawberry. What would you pay on this? Bro, I'm not even familiar with that. Is that a five star? Yeah. Dang, man. Uh, 20 bucks. <laughs> How about 10 bucks? 10 bucks? Yeah. You serious? Yeah. Yo, <laughs> done, done deal. You know what, hey, give actually, me how about you give me a dollar? Get out of here. One dollar. One dollar? I don't have a dollar. I don't have a dollar, right, you got bring, a 10. Bring a dollar. What do you think, what would you buy this for a dollar? Dollar 10. Bro, are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm serious. What do you this think? This is nuts, man. You Dude, want it for $10 a is a steal. Do you want it for a dollar? Tell him here's a dollar and get, keep the change. <laughs> Here, dude, go exchange that and bring a dollar back. It's yours for a dollar. For real? Bring me a dollar in a little bit. Cr what do you think, man? Yep. Best deal of the day, right? This is serious. Oh, man. This is wild. Best deal for you guys. All this right. is it. I'm, I'm, you know what? I'm done. Here, watch this. <laughs> This is it guys, it's gonna be the deal of the day. <laughs> All right, so how many cards do we have? Let's see that card. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Who would you rather have? Zion or this is Garrett Wilson? Uh, we got basketball coming, Come on, take pick a risk one. on this. All right, <laughs> yeah, 10 bucks good. for all that. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Thanks, 
boys. Ten bucks do for it. all this time. Go ahead. Oh my god. What do you think, man? Bro, that's Is that insane. cool? That's nice. Are you sure? You can't refund. I can't take a refund on these. <laughs> Are you shocked? He's shocked, man. He's speechless. There you go, man. Bro. Ten bucks. That's all you. My man. Thank you guys, man. Appreciate you, man. man. God bless. In the hobby. Let's Yo, go. Mojo Sports, man. That's the dude right there. That was just an insane deal. Jay was really just so generous to do that. He did it for a few other children. I'm gonna put the video uh, that he put out down in the description, so check that out. Uh, he helped out a lot of kids with some graded cards, and it was my foster kid's first graded cards. He's just getting into collecting, doesn't really know what's going on, but uh, he knows about graded cards, and he didn't have any, because I don't have any, right? <laughs> and uh, so now he has some, he's got them all displayed, and he's really proud of his new collection. And that's thanks to Jay from Mojo Sports. Uh, truly just blessed us uh, really good guy if you're not familiar with Jay from Mojo Sports go check him out he does all kinds of content spotlights some great shops and collectors so he's a good guy for the hobby I really like Jay and I, I really like what he did for us uh, so my foster son he just wanted the graded cards uh, he didn't really care about the autograph funny thing is he actually likes sticker autos he likes stickers and he likes autos so Combine them, sticker autos, that's his thing. And uh, this is on card, so <laughs> he's not really into this. So he, he was very generous and gave me that. He let me keep this one. So <laughs> now I got a Daryl Strawberry card and a great story to tell everyone about it, how I ended up with this card. So that was my card show recap, guys. And I had such a great day, as you can see, with my family. And uh, just when I thought the day couldn't get any better, I get home and there's a package sitting there waiting for me. And this is a perfect opportunity to give a shout out to a very special person, one of the biggest supporters of my channel, and that's my big sister. Her name is Vera. And um, since I've gone on YouTube, she's just been really encouraging all the time uh, about me making videos. She actually got me the tripod that I use for my videos. Uh, she's gotten me a baseball book that I mentioned in the video. She's gotten me cards. And what she left was this package here. Now this right here, uh, it's funny, she was inspired by a, a recent interview I did with Rob from Commenting Collector. So Rob, you influenced my sister to get me some packs because she thought it was so cool that you are a pack collector. So my sister uh, ended up getting me uh, here some tops cards and packs. So I don't know what's here, it's still sealed. I wanted to open it here as like a special uh, occasion. I know she's gonna love this part uh, to see me open this on, on video. Uh, yeah, she's always been supportive of all my life. You know, as kids, when we moved here, you know, we had to watch each other's backs. So every time I was getting my butt beat <laughs> for being the new kid, she was there to rescue me and save me. You know, she was a tough girl. So uh, yeah, I love my sister. And uh, so Vera, thank you so much. Uh, let's see what, what you got me. I'm gonna take a few at a time. Oh man, look at that. Tops Big from 1988, I believe. 1988 Tops Big, the rack pack. 89 Tops. Look at that, Sandy Alomar. That was a big card when I was a kid. Another rack pack. All right. And we got Bobby Doerr, Red Sox Hall of Famer and Baseball Hall of Famer. All right. 1991 Tops. That was one of my favorite years of tops they had that 40 year anniversary logo on it and it was just great images so it's cool to have these rag packs man this is fun all right let's see here wow i didn't even know they had packs of 1990 tops traded look at that wow i can feel the gum in it no oh look it's kind of open i'm not gonna open these i'm gonna keep them sealed right when i got into the hobby 87 tops we're still on the shelves they were converting, or well, changing over to 1988 tops. So it's cool to have a pack. There's another 88 tops. Got some 89 tops. Wow, pretty cool stuff. Another 89 tops. The last few 92 tops Stadium Club Series 1. So there's two packs of Series 1. You got a couple of packs of Series 2. And a 1991 Stadium Club. The premier edition 
first series. There you go. Those are fun collectibles. Now I have some packs to display in my collection. I'm not gonna open these. I think I'm just gonna keep them as is. She probably wanted to see me open them, but I think it's cooler to have them sealed now. And as I mentioned before, my sister was inspired by Rob, who a commenting collector, to get me those packs uh, because she watched the interview I did with them recently. And uh, Rob sent me a card in the mail. And this card I won in that interview. I have to say, secret word that he had. <laughs> Why are you wearing shades all the time? Man, good question. Well, it's sunny Florida, right? So what? It's sunny. It's sunny. <laughs> what? 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 Hey. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, hey. Oh, yes. There it is. Oh, my gosh. Ah, oh, thank you, man. Yeah, all right. He said the secret oh. word. So, <laughs> woohoo. All right, awesome. This is yours, my man. Sweet. Hey. And I'm just going to open this now. I know who it is. I wanted to open it here. And there it is. It's an Anthony Bender. Look at that shine. Let me get that out of the plastic. That's nice and shiny. Look at that. Anthony Bender autograph. Picture for the Marlins. And uh, it's a sticker auto, so I'm gonna have to try to hide this from my foster son because he's gonna he's gonna have his eye on it. <laughs> but thank you so much, Rob. I had so much fun in that interview. If you guys haven't watched it, please go back and check it out or go to uh, Rob's channel, Commenting Collector. He's a great guy. I'm so glad I met him. I found out about Rob's channel through Orlando, who did a VR for him, and me and Rob have become good friends since. So that's what this hobby is all about. So from a car show, talking about a card show. Either way, it's a beautiful day. Because whether we're a car show or a card show, we're talking baseball. Thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Before we go, here is my favorite car at the show. This 1955 Chrysler 300 was originally owned by Casey Stengel. He gave it to future Hall of Famer Eno Slaughter in a trade deal to entice him to go to Kansas City to help train his young outfielders in the newly formed Kansas City Athletics. Eno Slaughter owned this car for eight years the current owner gives out these nice postcards documenting the car's past and has it decorated in a way to let you know of its ties to baseball. And they also remind you that no matter where you are, the signs of the pastime are all around us.